You okay there, Tim G5TM back with you and thanks for joining me again for another one. Now I've been looking a lot at uh, putting up maybe uh, a better antenna for 10 metres. I've got a nice halfway vertical and it does a great job for me. You see me uh, using this a few times and I'll put a little video up there, up there even, about how I actually made the... Uh, the antenna itself uh, and I can't complain about it at all. Now I've played around with maybe looking at possibly doing a 5 8 wave and there's plenty of uh, videos around on the internet about how to make your own 5 8 wave vertical. Um, a couple of my colleagues in the UK, uh, Mike M0 MSN and Ian G0 CNN, but he's known I think as Ian XFS, X-Ray Foxtrot Sierra on his channel so look up their stuff as well because they've made uh, a few examples of these five eight wave antennas but i thought i'd model it surprise surprise just to see what the differences are because you hear a lot of anecdotal stuff from people saying well the five eight wave knocks the spots off the half wave let's have a look so uh, just going to go into the old screen here then and uh, here we go so uh, on the left we've got the five eight wave and the right we've got the half wave notice as i go down to the bottom here that the length of the five eight wave is about six point what, six point two seven centimeter meters as you say six point two seven meters that's just over 20 feet and the half wave of course for 10 meters as you see down here is five meters long that's just just literally a fraction over 16 feet isn't it so, um, okay, let's put them down both as ground-mounted antennas to see where we go so far. So looking at this on the left so far, then, this is the 5 8 wave. Um, and not that I've added any height, so the antenna's on the ground. We'll go to 10 metres. Uh, actually, I've got to 28.450 because that's what I've modelled it on. Uh, real ground, copper wire, whatever. Don't worry about the SWR, by the way. We'll, we'll basically sort that out uh, with matching. We're just looking at the actual um, the patterns at the moment, okay? Look at the far field plot. Yes, yeah, some looks a nice little pattern for low angle. We'll, we'll change the elevation to 5 degrees because that's where a lot of our DX will come in. And what sort of figure do we have? Well, minus 3 dB. Now, straight away, that tells me that's going to be better than the half wave. Let's see how much that's going to be better by. So on the right-hand side, we've got the half wave. Again, this is ground-mounted, okay? Again, we'll change this to 28.450. Again, it's ground-mounted. So the lowest point's on the ground. Real, whatever. Real, uh, real uh, ground. Uh, go to the far field plot. Now... If we look at the, uh, where are we? Is that five degrees? Let's have a look. Elevation, yeah, no, five degrees, there we go. That's better. And you can see the differences, first of all, in the far fields. So on the left-hand side of what I'm circling with the mouse here is the five eights. You can see the pattern's a little bit different. And in fact, with the five eights, as I say, we've got minus three dB at five degrees takeoff, good for DX, minus 5.1 for the half wave. 2 dB difference may not make a huge difference, but there's a difference. Okay. Okay, so that's with the antennas mounted at the same height. Let's put them both up a little bit higher then. So let's put the, I don't know, let's, let's add another 3 um, meters of, of height onto this. We'll add the 3 meters of height onto the, uh, the 5 eighths. Uh, we'll have a look now at 5 degrees. 3 meters of height now. Minus 1.6, nice pattern there. So remember, we had a 2.1 dB difference when we were on the ground. Let's have a look at the half wave. I'm going to 5 degrees. Minus 2.1. Oh, now that's changed. We've now only got a half a dB in it. So once we get that half wave off the ground, it's still, if you look at it, lowest point of the antenna is at 3 metres. So is the 5 eighths. And the differences between them now, you can see the patterns are becoming a lot more, you know, similar. So that's interesting. And in fact, the gap closes a little bit further as you go higher. Now let's let's look at it from another point of view. If we've got this antenna where we're taking it portable, now a lot of guys on 10 and 11 meters, okay, because this is very similar, um, will take what we know as a T2LT antenna, which is the flower pot for 10 meters and the same design for 11 meters it's just a little bit shorter it uses the same choke it's just just uh, the 11 meter one is slightly longer i should say than the 10 meter version so they take them both now a lot of guys will say to you the 5 8 knocks the spot off the 10 meter on uh, knocks the spot off the the half wave all right so the 5 8 wave beats the half wave let's say we've got a 12 meter pole 
right we've gone big we've got a 12 meter spider beam pole and we're going to go down by the sea we're going to lash this up we know the sfi is good we've got lots of sunspots it's a nice warm summer's evening the band is wide open to the states the caribbean and all sorts so we're going to work some dx so we're going to pull out on the stops we're going to take a 100 watt radio down by the beach and we're going to put up a 5 8 wave okay so let's do that so if we go back here with the 5 8 we know the length of the antenna is uh, what did we say the length of the antenna was 6.27 so if we're going to put that right at the top of the 12 meter pole we're going to feed that about 5.73 meters above the ground because that gives us 5.73 meters above the ground plus the height of this of the antenna which is 6.27 means it's right at the top of our 12 meter spider beam okay so we're going to start that up uh, five degrees elevation and uh, what's our yeah 0 0.1 db okay so we're at 0 0.1 db and we've got you know sort of nice pattern going on there lovely okay so let's say your mate 20 miles down the road same shoreline he wants to use his half wave doing the same thing and he has got a 12 meter pole as well so now we know for example with the half wave it's only five meters long so with the 12 meter pole you're going to mount that seven meters off the ground because seven and five is 12 the type of the antenna be right at the top of the the 12 the spider pole okay okay uh five degrees off the horizon so what do we have on the five eights 0 0.1 on the half wave 0 0.1 have a look at the far field plots that's the five eights that's the half wave Hmm. Interesting. So, to be honest with you, if you're thinking of taking um, an antenna like this to work portable, up a hill, by the sea, somewhere in the clear, and you're thinking, I'm going to need to take a five eighths because it's going to murder the ten meter, uh, it's going to murder the half wave on this ten and eleven meter thing we're looking at here, the bands we're looking at here. To be honest with you. Will it? I don't know. MM -M even, ANA, seems to think it won't. It's a dead heat. Look, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Let me just double check I'm done this wrong. Yeah, that's right. That's uh, 5.7 meters above the ground there. Seven meters there. So if you mount the 5.8 and the half wave at the same height, if you ch if you actually feed them at the same height, the 5.8s will be better. But the gap will close as you mount them both higher if you ensure that the tip the the very top tip of the antenna is at the same height so the half wave is mounted is fed slightly higher than the five eighths you ain't got much of a difference in fact according to this you haven't got any difference at all so there we go the half wave is still viable even compared to the five eighths especially if you're putting them both uh, portable on a fiberglass pole you shouldn't probably see a hole lot of difference there we go uh, one up for the halfway there but uh, the five eights are great antennas as well as i say check out mike and or ian's or both videos uh, i'll put a link on the description somewhere below so you can see those and hopefully you can enjoy those too seven three if you uh, haven't done so already think about subscribing i'll put a link up over there somewhere and the next video will be coming up over there take care and uh, hope to see you on the bands bye bye